Okay, and welcome to this series on changing your beliefs. And I'm going through a process of changing my beliefs at the moment. So I'm going to guide you through what I'm actually doing. So why not try it with, with along with me and see how you get on. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is to get a piece of paper. And at the top, I want you to write limiting beliefs. Now, uh, the first thing you write is to state the belief then you're going to create a replacement belief and the third thing you're going to do is describe an image of this belief in action so I'm going to give you an example and um, there's just one caveat around this is that you need to understand what your purpose is for this to work so I have worked out that my purpose in life and what I want to do with my career is all around empowerment so to answer that question, you really need to say to yourself, what one thing, if I could give one thing and put it into one word, if I could do one thing for the world, what would it be? On whatever scale you, you, you want. But for me, it's empowerment. Okay, so I'm going to go through two of my limiting beliefs here to give you an example. Okay, so here we are. Um, they're both around money as well. Limiting belief number one, there are starving children and it's wrong to have a nice house when they have no food. Okay, because one of the things I like is to, is to do my house up. Okay, now the replacement belief I've created for that is that the more money I have, the more power I have to help those starving children. So, for example, by, by uh, doing th things like micro microloans uh, through the website Kiva, which is something which really empowers people rather than just gives them aid. Okay, so uh, the image for this belief is me sitting in my nice house and because I will feel calmer because the house is in a better state, um, it allows me to work more effectively. So I'm seeing myself sitting at my computer, um, writing an ebook which can go out to people to bring me more money in. And then I cut to Im an image of a, a child eating a bowl of rice and laughing and feeling really, really satisfied. Okay. I'll just give you another example. Um, limiting belief number two. Uh, more money means you influence more people and you're not strong enough to cope with influencing all those, all those people. So my replacement belief for that is my message is bigger than I am. I am connected to source and uh, source, it can be whatever you want it to be. Some people think it's God. I think of it as something that's in me, it's my higher self really. So I am connected to source when I deliver my message and empower people. When I was ego stroke fear mind driven, indeed it's true I was not strong enough to deal with influencing others. Now that is not an issue because there is nothing stronger than source in the universe. Okay, and I think that this idea of your message being bigger than you are, that has really, really helped me. So this is why you really need to understand your purpose to make this work. So the image for this belief is me selling my eBooks and people emailing me, thanking me for my work and having Facebook comments with people really um, showing their appreciation. Okay, so watch out, click the link below for part two of this series. Thank you.